So whether you're receiving conditional love in a current relationship, or maybe you are brought up by parents who gave you conditional love, it can be a hard thing to figure out. It's very confusing, complicated, and complex. And that's because much harm can be done under the guise of love. <laughs> A lot of strings attached with conditional love and maybe you're used to being pulled up and down like a puppet. The conditions may be, I'll love you if you let me do what I want. I'll love you if you act the way I want you to. I'll love you if you believe in the same things I believe in. I believe in the same God, the same religion, the same view of the environment and so on. I'll love you if you make a lot of money. I'll love you if you're always upbeat and make me feel good. You gotta be in a good mood all the time. I'll love you if you gloss over things and don't deal with any real feelings. I'll love you if you keep that same great body that you have right now all through the rest of our life. And of course, I'll love you if you're good and bad. But what happens if a person meets these conditions for a while, but then they can't or they don't want to? That's where it gets tricky because that's when we begin to really see through these artificial conditions, the facade of an adult relationship or the facade of a parent-child relationship. Then we have to take a hard look at reality and that can be challenging. There may be some challenging, tough feelings to deal with at this point. Maybe your childhood didn't help you understand what unconditional love is. And so now you associate conditional love with the real deal, but it's not the real deal. But how would you know that? That's very confusing, right? So in this video, I wanna provide some examples and we'll take a look at conditional love. As a child, you don't know any better because all you may really understand is if I do A plus B, then I'll get C. Well, C is the conditional love. And maybe A plus B means you have to be on and perform in some way. You have to walk on eggshells. You can't be yourself. You're not given C if you don't do A or B. So a child associates being inauthentic, pushing down who they really are to get this reward of so-called love. In an intimate adult relationship, same deal. Maybe it's your first serious relationship. You don't have the life skills to understand the realities of a healthy relationship, but you know something is off. And that's what we wanna talk about today. If you feel emotionally drained around them all the time, what's that about? Are you trying to meet their expectations? What's the energy like coming from them? Is it a negative toxic energy somehow that you're not good enough? That's a condition. You better be good enough if you wanna keep them. That's what that message implies. Perhaps they treat you or talk to you differently in front of a group of people versus being alone. Let somebody know they're not good enough. They must not be really proud of me. That's a condition. If there's little to no compromise in an adult relationship, that's a condition. I'm not going to meet you halfway. You have to meet me my way and then things will be okay. You'll get my love. Did your parents or are you currently with somebody who's always keeping score? Very tit for tat. You just can't be yourself, right? And just chill out because they're watching. They're keeping score. You better get out your scorecard. If you're outscoring them, you may owe them something. They're not going to like that which of course means you're feeling some sort of imbalance. There's not a level playing field. Who's ahead in the score? Or maybe in your family, you were role modeled a power struggle by your parents. Be aware that that's a red flag. Are you now going to bring this power struggle into your relationship? A power struggle is conditional love. Let me be the one in charge. Let me be the one in control if we're going to be together. Another red flag is, are you afraid to express yourself freely in front of your parents or your significant other? You can easily tell your best friend the truth, but you'll really censor and monitor yourself when you're sharing your opinions, your thoughts, your feelings around your parents or significant other. Why are you doing that? Maybe with your friend, you can be yourself because there's no conditions there. Another red flag to be aware of is, do you have perfectionistic traits in you? because being a perfectionist often ties into the conditional love you had to tolerate growing up by toxic parents. Did your parents or your significant other have these enormous expectations of you? The bar is set so high, it may be flattering at first, but then you're realizing if I, I don't meet this high bar that's been set for me, they're not going to love me anymore? Do you feel shut down in the relationship or with your parents? Maybe your achievements or accomplishments are only being really honored when you do something that they like, that they're proud of. If it's something that they don't approve of that you're doing, they'll just poo-poo it like it's no big deal. That's a condition. It could also show as they're minimizing your accomplishments just in general because they feel threatened by them somehow. This can be terrifying to a little kid and very confusing to an adult. 
When you're being raised in a family with conditional love, you're growing up just trying to be what they want, walking on eggshells, giving off the energy of need me, love me, need me, love me, because you want to be part of something, you want to belong to your own family. So you'll do anything, twist yourself inside and out to fit in. And hence you're being trained to accept and tolerate conditional love. There's likely going to be some times when you can't meet someone's conditions. And this can be traumatic because they're going to pull away their love now. So if you notice there's all these expectations, that's a condition, right? What are these expectations about? So if you notice they're very judgmental with you. So many, many examples of how conditional love may show up and appear in our adult lives. So just be very aware because if you're having to perform to meet someone's expectations and therefore hope to get this conditional love, this whole troubling scenario will implode and you will likely pay an emotional price at some point. So if you'd like to add on any more examples, please feel free to do so in the comments below. Please subscribe to my mental health YouTube channel if you like these kind of videos. And until next week, this is Brad Shore signing off from Ask a Shrink.